this was my first farm. It's now uh, uh, a high-tech greenhouse on the soil now. There's no soil, the soil has been killed. It's concrete, yes. Uh, so next I will show you the problems with these greenhouses. This is a video from Spain. This makes me feel sick. I, I feel disgusted. Oh my. You know, the plastic is it's totally integrated into the soil in the different layers. Are you, Daniel, are you telling me that when the greenhouses change their plastic, it's not, it's not recycled by law? Most of the plastic are abandoned, you know, or... It's just cheaper, cheaper to take it away. Exactly, to take it away, it takes time, it takes labor. So all this plastic here yes. gets flooded out into the sea? Totally, yes, it's like a highway non-stop into the sea. This is... This makes me feel sick. I, I feel disgusted by our systems that, that enable this to be even possible. This is completely this is very obscene. embarrassing in the name of economy of profits we are doing this for me it's you know it's unbelievable it's very embarrassing as a, as a species we are doing this to ourselves All right this is in Spain and I check Google Earth and see the uh, satellite image of the place let me show you that The place Almeria in spring. Yes. And you can see these shiny white structures. What are these? These are all greenhouses packed very close together in Spain. And they produce a lot of vegetables and fruits exported to European countries like, like the UK, like France and so on. And this is only one patch here, you have other. and some more. And if we come back to Singapore, right, and let's go to our agricultural area, Mill Kyo Ling 3. We are just about to do the same, right? This is, this is agricultural land. Uh, if, I, if, if I scroll a bit forward, yeah, you can see that greenhouses are
a large piece of land. Let me go back. This is uh, this is uh, two two years ago. This is two years ago. Now greenhouses are already built there. And uh, my first farm is here. It was here. Now it has become these high tech greenhouses. This is where my first food forest was converted to this. And later I went to farm here, this plot here, and next to it are also high tech greenhouses. And there every day I saw their practices. I didn't see the problem that the earlier video showed, that is when they changed their plastic plastic sheets of the of the greenhouses, how they deal with their discarded plastic. I didn't see that, but I saw their everyday practices. They they dump a lot of waste and there's so much maintenance works every day, like they have a lot of those uh, plastic tubes, PVC pipes and so on, that they have to cut and saw and so on. So the tiny plastic particles will be just dumped outside here, polluting the environment. And every two or three months, they would flush their whole system and the water would just go out. This contaminated water would just flow out to the environment. There's a, there, there's a stream here. So there, it, there is a lot of issues with those um, industrial farming because the model is just like a battery. You have, to, you have to have a lot of inputs and then you get your output, but along the way, there will be a lot of waste uh, uh, produced. So that's why I, I am trying to spread the message that farming can be a lot more environmentally friendly, right? As we grow food, we are creating habitats for urban wildlife and they will benefit from it. And while we humans will also benefit because we get the food, we get better environment. And we, we, I, do, I, do, I didn't need to buy a lot of input. I, I didn't use fertilizers. I, I only use occasionally because I, I use a lot of mulching and uh, I have birds, I have butterflies, I have bees, I have giant flies coming to my farm, right? So farming, industrial farming like this is very selfish. It's only for humans because we need food. So we build these high-tech greenhouses to grow food for our, for our consumption at the same time uh, producing a lot of pollution, right? We are selfish in doing this. but in a, in a natural farm, well, natural farm can involve many different uh, approaches like permaculture, like, like uh, uh, biodynamics, syntropics and so on. There are many ways of uh, farming naturally. And uh, I would like to 